Hi, this is Stephanie, and I'm here to show you my new Instant Pot um, Dutch oven. It's a six quart Dutch oven, and I'm here to just show you because I just took it out of the box, and I've had it for like a year, I think, in the box. Decided that I'm gonna use it today, and I'm gonna let you know what it looks like. So, without any further ado, that is what she looks like. So, this is a six quart Dutch oven. And this thing is heavy, especially what's really heavy is this part. This part is the heaviest because this is a Dutch oven. This can go on your stove. You know, it can go in your oven. It doesn't have to have this other part. Ugh, it's heavy. It doesn't have to have that other part to, uh, to even use it. And inside, you know, you got your famous little um, dots that's on a Dutch oven. So when it's cooking, the, the um, juices go right back into the bowl, right into the um, into the container, and it just cooks really good. Now, this is actually the second time I'm doing this um, unboxing kind of thing because I actually just used it. So I wanted to, and because I just used it, I wanted to like go over it in a little different way. Um, the inside is enamel, as you can see, really pretty. Now, it is uh, dishwasher safe, but it tells you really not to put it in a dishwasher. Try to rinse it out. It looks like a crock pot, um, which I have like this, and it has the enamel in it. You know, I don't, you, I don't generally put the crock in the in the um, dishwasher. So this do the same thing because I don't, you know, this you don't want to damage the enamel. So just hand wash it. I I, I made turkey in this, and um, I made stewed turkey basically or braised turkey with gravy in this. And it came out lovely. You guys will see that uh, video coming up soon. But I did make that in this. And it came out really good. Now, I'm going to show you. It came with this. And it's beautiful. Red. It's beautiful. And I love it. can't believe I just took it out of the box. Also came with this mat. So once you take it out of the um, container there or anywhere you want, you put it on the mat so it can cool because it, it really gets hot. Also, the top does get hot because, uh, yeah, it's hot. It doesn't, you need a mat or something. Um, you need a, um, a pot holder or something to hold on to this once it goes because this thing really gets hot, just like, just like a Dutch oven. So I'm going to put it in its, its crop. Oh, sorry. It also comes with these two things, which you put on the little handles if you want to get it off. Get it out you just put the handles on and you could actually kind of pick them up you know nicely and take it wherever you want to go so it comes with these little these little holders and this and of course it comes with the book okay it comes with a recipe book which we're going to look at real quick see this this page has peach cobbler on it which might be something I might do and this one is lasagna marinette um, margarita and you could definitely make lasagna in this um, that that might I might do that one day too this is braised Chinese style um, spare ribs uh, this is Thai green curry shrimp which is gluten-free this one is some pot roast. I'm definitely going to do a pot roast. This is uh, uh, fettuccine boulognese. Again, I don't know if I'm doing that, but it's like also no need, <laughs> almost no need bread. So you almost don't have to need this bread. You can put it in here. And it takes uh, 55 minutes to bake and three hours to do all together. So you need it. It's got to rise. Then it's the um, Sicilian fish stew, which is also gluten-free. Then we do have some dinner rolls in this in this um, thing. And we have some uh, carnitas with pickled red onions, which is pulled pork. And you could definitely do a pulled pork in here. So this is the recipe book that I came with. It also came with this Be Safe uh, Maintenance 
warranty and it has things you need to know about being safe with this thing. And it came with this get started manual. Now I just read it. I, sh I didn't read it when I first did it, but I just read it. And I'm just gonna go over two things that it said. One, it was talking about how to clean it and you can put it in a dishwasher, but you really don't want to because of the enamel. And it's, it's, it's heavy. This one, you can rinse it out pretty good and get it pretty clean. So I, I don't have any problems with my crock pot. And this, I don't think you would either. You just clean it out. And let's see. I'm going to put her in so y'all can see. Oh, heavy. Oh, she heavy. Get her in there. I don't really need to lift it, but I really wanted this. I'm going to plug it in. Okay, so all I'm going to do is show you what it says. I plugged it in, and it says ready right here. I think you could probably see that a little bit better. So what I'm going to do is just play with it uh, again. And so I'm going to press the saute sear right here. And it says that it's on 400 degrees for 20 minutes. Now, you can touch the temp. And well, it really doesn't go anywhere except to the timer. So the most it's going to go on is 400 degrees and you can just keep going up and keep doing that. Next, I'm going to show you the slow cook. The slow cook is at four, at four, at four hours at, it starts at four hours. Now we can touch that and it goes up. I think up to 12 hours you can do, you can do a slow cook. Now, what I'm not sure about is if I pressed this, um, what happens? It's only one level, okay? It seems to be only one level for the slow cook. Then the braise, let's go to braise. And the braise is at 400 degrees. I'm gonna, that's all it does, it stays at 400 degrees. I mean, excuse me, it stays out four hours. Actually, doesn't. You can you can make it. Uh-uh. The most you can do with this one is four hours. And the temperature is not, uh, you can't change the temperature on that. Now, the manual. So the manual, they say it's two levels. There's one level that's 140. It starts at 140. So do the temperature for that one. And... I think this one goes to 203 from, my, from the first time I did it. So on manual, it goes up to 203, and that is it, two, three, and it goes back down to 77. Now, if I want to press this again, oh, so when you press it twice, now it starts at 400, and you can... Do the temp here, and the temperature will go up, which is what I just read. So I wanted to show you that it goes up to 400 degrees. The most this model is going to go up to is 400 degrees. Then you also want to, uh, you can change the time, and it goes on and on and on, I think for four hours. So we can do that, three hours. It goes up to three hours at 400 max. So you can just... Press start and you're ready to go. I'm um, pressing cancel because I'm not cooking in here right now. But I wanted to get a little closer with you guys and show you exactly how this thing is set up and how it works. And so far, made one thing in it and it was some um, smothered chicken, I mean smothered turkey wings. They were heavenly. They came out wonderful in this machine. Can't wait to start using it on a few other things that I want to do in this thing. I am going to say goodbye for now. I will show you guys. I mean, I will talk to you all later. Uh, thank you for coming, liking, subscribing, and sharing. We will talk soon. Bye-bye.